What's going on everybody? My name is Ibarka, otherwise known as Garrison Wolf or otherwise known as the real estate community as the Alpha Wolf agent. Today I'll be talking about the highly underrated lead generator in the real estate community, otherwise known as door knocking. So a lot of people, especially a lot of the older agents, uh, age and time in the market, they don't really view door knocking as feasible and as high quality. But for the newer agents, such as myself, or really anyone that wants to get into it, I highly suggest door knocking as your main source at first. And really, here's why. Two experiences I've had with door knocking, uh, they, really, they, they really treasure you if you give them a good, uh, good smile and good charisma. But so far out of my door knocking, I've gotten about four leads. Well, several leads and four closings just out of door knocking going door to door you know letting them know you exist letting them know that you know you're just look in the area for any houses for sale or anyone looking to buy or sell and make sure you have you know your cards on you and I'll go through a whole uh, whole list later on in the video letting you know what's going on and the best tips to roll with when going with door knocking so right now we're going to go through some of the pros and cons of door knocking and a major pro that I found is you get a good exercise in and you really can't be lazy with it. So door knocking, you're going to require, you know, some feet work. But a good positive, good pro is you get a good exercise in and that's just one. The next one would have to be you get your name out there. And when people will see you door knocking, they have thought of me as a Jehovah Witness before because I used to door knock in my suit until it got way too hot out there. And I was like, screw that and now I door knock in shorts and a t-shirt and some people call it unprofessional but at the same time I'm meeting a lot of people and that's another pro about door knocking is you meet all kinds of people of walks of life. I've met millionaires and I've met you know low incomes but you know a lot of people I'm getting familiar with the area that's that's the fourth one you know you get familiar with the area you get to see what's going on you see the changes so if you notice a house that you know seems to be getting unpacked that is that you start to notice that once you do your door knocking once you get familiar and more like a hey this wasn't there before what's going on there but uh, you definitely get familiar with the area you get to meet new people uh, you get some good exercise and you really just get your name out there as a hard-working agent I'm quite known as a you know go-getter and you know knocking down the doors literally to get some leads so those are the pros now on to the cons now there's a couple cons, there's a lot of cons with door knocking, but uh, I'm going to name a few now. Oh, the first con is you need a lot of time for it, and it, it just takes a lot of your time up. I've walked for about four hours at max before, just kind of walking around, knocking on doors, and that is a, that's a big factor when it comes to if you have time in your day to spare. If you don't have time in your day to spare, it, door knocking becomes very, very hard to do. But if you're willing to make the time and really get out there, it does come with a plethora of rewards. So that's a major con. It just takes up a lot of time in your day. The second con is the ability, you need to have the ability to be rejected, to have the door slammed on your face. And I speak on, I speak on that from experience of getting cussed out, getting possibly the cops called on me. That was fun. And just someone really thought I was trying to break into a lot of places because I'm just knocking on their doors and just kind of walking around the area. They, they think I'm kind of like keying the area up, which is, it's stupid. You're going to meet a lot of stupid. That's a bonus, uh, bonus con. You're going to meet a lot of stupid people. I've met a, I met a lot of stupid people. But yeah, you just got you're, you to be able to handle rejection in the, in the real estate door knocking community. And the last con, you know, of course this comes with all kind of leads, but you need to be motivated and you need to be determined. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of days you wake up and be like, you know what, bump that. I'm just not going to be doing door knocking. It's too hot outside. It's too cold outside. I've walked when it was snowing and I've walked when I was sweating my ass off. It's just overall crappy. But, you know, that's just part of the job. If you're not willing to bust your butt off and really, really get out there, if you don't have the determination, the motivation, you're not going to go far with door knocking. So. Highly suggest you wake up, smack yourself in the face, take a cold shower, get that motivation because you're going to need it for this long journey. Now on to the actual list of tips that I can give you for door knocking. And the first one, I cannot stress this enough, is remember to stay hydrated because you're going to be walking a lot and sometimes you don't have the water on you. 
And if you're just, if you haven't drank anything, if you're just drinking water, pop, I mean, or you know, even Gatorade sometimes, you gotta drink some water with you. You're gonna pass out, you're gonna get headaches, you're gonna get cramps, and no one likes a cramp day. No one likes a sweaty, dehydrated, pass out day because that's when, that's when you get embarrassed. You get embarrassed because you pass out and they gotta call the ambulance on you. A second one on the list is make sure your phone is charged and make sure you're, it's ready for the day because if you don't have the ability to answer any phone calls for somebody that you give your car to earlier in the day or in case there's an emergency, of course, you're, uh, you're kind of screwed because if you don't have a phone, you can't really just yell into the heavens and hope God sends you down some helicopters because you'll be screwed if you don't have a charged phone, if you don't have any kind of you know, way to communicate with somebody if there's an emergency or if they decide, hey, let's call this guy, let's set something up. So make sure you have your phone on you and you're ready to charge. And this is the one that uh, I broke. I broke this rule a couple times because I'm kind of an idiot. Uh, don't go into anyone's home alone because I, maybe you could handle yourself. Maybe you, know, you got it all planned out, but you really never know what's going on. Unless it's a family member or unless you've known them for a long time, don't go into anyone's house. And if you do, Make sure you take note of the surroundings. Make sure, you know, if you're getting some vibes, just get out of there. But make sure you have your eye on the exit or eye on an exit, or if anything bad happens, you need to get the hell out of here. So make sure, don't go in anyone's home unless you're ready to get out of the home. Number four really stays uh, in par with number one, and that is really, you know, make sure you eat before you go, go on or keep an energy bar or, you know, some almond nuts with you just to have something you can snack on while you're going. Because again, the cramps are just absolutely terrible to deal with, especially if you're going on long walks, uh, one to two hours, three hours, four hours if you're pushing it. It's just absolutely terrible. So major, major tip to make sure you eat before you go on. Number five deals with the area is that, and that is stay consistent with the area you're doing your door knocking at. You don't wanna you know, switch to a street block or community uh, then maybe the next day go to a different block or community. You wanna stay consistent with the area to make sure you, know, you get to know all the houses, you get to know the people, and just really hammer hard in one area you're gonna farm. And farming really just means you know, staying, you know, constantly going with the area. So just stay consistent with the area you intend to door knock with. Number six is, uh, is uh, stay familiar. Like, get familiar with the houses, get familiar with the people. And yes, you gotta stay consistent, but you also gotta get familiar with it. Start talking with people, start noticing you know, the houses you wanna start knocking on. Just really get familiar with the people and the homes, especially if you're an agent already, you know what a CMA is, you know how to run a CMA. You do a CMA for the neighborhood you intend to door knock get the stats ready and you can present them to people that might be interested in selling their home in that house or if you know someone that's looking to buy in that neighborhood you already know the high, the average of the selling homes and the average of the lasting days on the market it's uh so if you're already an agent you know how to do this if you're not an agent yet uh comment below and i'll lead you through step by step number seven is uh, while you're sticking familiar with the area number seven would be uh, look for the signs of a house being sold such as freshly cut grass, um, not cut grass, overgrown grass, or my favorite is the U-Haul trucks, then they're like my diamonds. I find them all the time and then I know where to stick in that area. And because of that U-Haul, I've talked to people that were moving the stuff. They told me about the home. And I've actually generated one sale from it just from looking at a U-Haul and getting familiar why, why that U-Haul is there and what I can do to help. So look for signs that a home is being sold or intended to be sold there's also um, packed cars. There, sometimes you don't have U-Hauls, and I'm not saying look through people's windows, because then you will get the cops called on you. That's the bad day for everybody. But um, you can just see you know, cars packed to the top. You can easily see without looking like you're about to rob them. Number eight is another form of a lead for door knocking people. Um, is talk to your local mailman or mailwoman. You know, you've got to be PC. But um, talk with them. They know the area more than you do because they do that every single day and they get paid for it. You do too, but they get paid consistently. And they, so they know the people, they're friends with the people, and they are an excellent source of generating leads or any kind of possibility of talking with them. Really, talking with them can benefit you because it lets you know more about the area and more about these people. So talk to your local mailman. If you have mailman friends, I do, so I'm lucky, but if you don't, get friends, get really associated with them. A bonus one is uh, the dumpster workers, the, the trash garbage people. They know more about the area too than you do, I promise you that. So 
keep in contact with them and it will serve you well. This, is, this tip is not for everybody, but number nine is really get familiar. If you have a family member in that neighborhood, they again know the area more than you do and they could give you tips on you know, who's moving, uh, who just died. I know that's terrible to say, but you gotta do what you gotta do in this, in this real estate community. But um, family members are a great source, especially if they live in the area. They know it a lot more than you do and they can give you tips. And if they don't, you probably should get more family. And last tip on my, on my list is really just ask the locals what's going on. Be frank with them. Let them know you're a real estate agent and you're looking to sell or you're looking to buy homes or sell the home for them and you might have a buyer if they're interested. Uh, just get local, get to know the local people. Again, get familiar. A lot of this is just stay consistent and get familiar. But these are 10 tips that can really help you out. You know, if door knocking, if you're a new agent, Go out there, door knocking is a great way to start your real estate community you know, career. And if you're an older agent and you're saying, I'm stupid for doing door knocking, uh, if you just watch any of my videos, if you're new to this channel, um, I'm a 21-year-old real estate agent in West Virginia and I've already sold eight homes. And I have nine listings and I'm on my way to, if I get all my deals closed before October 15th, it is uh, July 26th now, I can hit top producer, which is $3 million sold. So. I may not be having my career for years, but I do know a little bit what I'm talking about. So if you guys have any tips, I'd love to hear from you too. And if there's anything about this video that you would like to critique, comment below. I'd love to take criticism. I'd love to take it to you know, really better myself. And I love bettering myself as a person. I hope you guys do too. But um, thank you all for watching and I hope you all enjoy the video. If you know anybody that would benefit from this video, comment below, share this video, and even hit the little bell icon to let you know when I upload trying to upload twice a week uh, starting today, which is fun. But um, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Bye.